All right, Glenn Clark back here with SFMSports.net alongside Nazareth coach Rob Randall after the Golden Flyers picked up a 13-11 win today in Game 1 of the Green Turtle Mustang Classic. And, Coach, congratulations on a big win, I guess. Uh, there's something to be said for having to face a little adversity after things coming so easily for you in the first quarter. Yeah, you know, we uh, we started out strong. We've we've been starting out strong in most of our games, and we just have not uh, been able to keep our foot on the pedal. And, you know, a lot of that's uh, attributed to, to a good Dickinson team, you know. So we got to do a better job in the second half of um, – you know, trying to trying to finish off teams. I think what really jumped out at us in the broadcast was the play of Drew Semino. That every time you guys seemed to need a big faceoff victory, as Dickinson was getting closer and closer, Semino was there to make it. Well, Drew's been doing that for four years for us. You know, he's two-time Player of the Year, an All-American. I'm not sure that there's a better faceoff guy in the country. And you know, we love. Uh, in fact, the one time when we had the two-minute penalty. We, uh, we almost were hoping that they would score quick so that Drew could go out and win the faceoff <laughs> and we could get the ball back. No doubt about that. Uh, Luke Wooters, Troy Heffel, they've been good for you all year once again today. They combined for five goals. There's not a whole lot more to say about them other than they are, uh, it seems to be, sort of the lifeblood of your attack. Well, I mean, they do a lot of different things for us. They're very dynamic. You know, they can run from up top. They can dodge. Uh, they're great off-ball players. They're great on extra man. So, yeah, they're definitely the leaders of our, uh, of our offense. And, you know, the, again, they've been they've been doing this for three years, so uh, we're excited to have them. Quick turnaround for you guys as you take on uh, Cabrini tomorrow. What is it you tell the team? Do you do you change anything in your approach when you play games with this quick of a turnaround? You know, not really. Uh, we need. I just got done talking to the team, and we need to uh, to get something to eat and, and rest up and and stay off our feet. Um, and get ready for a great Cabrini team tomorrow afternoon. And then just finally, the experience here, being part of the uh, Green Turtle Mustang Classic and having so many good teams on the field and uh, the atmosphere here in Owens Mills. It's awesome. I mean, uh, outside of the national championship, this is the, the best Division three venue that you can be in. Um, it, it's a great tournament. It's great, a great thing to be a part of. We feel very privileged to be a part of it, and we want to continue to be a part of it. Nazareth today, a 13-11 win over Dickinson in Game 1 of the Green Total Mustang Classic. Coach Rob Randall, congratulations. Thank you, Glenn. I'm Glenn Clark for sfmsports.net. Christian Payne joined by head coach David Webster for the Dickinson Red Devils. The final here from Mustang Stadium, 13-11 in favor of Nazareth. We look to the second half, coach. The first quarter, one you want to forget, down 5 nothing. But you look past that, your team was fantastic today. And a guy with three goals next to his name, a hometown guy at that from the Oil Blake Field, Tyler Llewellyn. So talk about his play first off in the second half and the spark he gave you here today. Um, well, I, I can't look past the first quarter, unfortunately. And it's something we've struggled with all year is competing in, for a full game. And, and continue to be plagued by that. Uh, sure, happy we competed uh, much, much more consistently in the second half. And Tyler, uh, who was uh, sick, we weren't even sure if he was going to play today. He's got the flu real bad, but uh, he played with a lot of composure and, and made some great plays. Dickinson moving into the second half, a lot of momentum out of the huddles, some guys on the defensive end stepped up too. You had some new guys in the mix all across the field, Coach, on the attacking end, moving up Mitch Andres, getting the start once again. Some great play down the mix. And then also Zach Blumenstein at the faceoff, won a couple big ones for you. So you got a promising cast of first years out there, and, and what are you looking for them to do down the stretch of the season, maybe tomorrow first against a good team in Lynchburg, and then moving ahead to the centennial schedule this year? Yeah, the young guys, uh, it's great to get them big minutes and big games like this and have them learn from that experience. Uh, we had to go to Zach, our, our top face-off guy, Greg Castro, out with a broken finger. Uh, Campbell went in and did a real nice job there. Their face-off guy uh, is, is one of the best in Division Three, And so we had to do another counter, and that counter was using our long stick, Zach, who's a freshman who uh, hadn't done a lot of this in the past, but learning, and uh, that was, that was a, a much better matchup for us in this game in that second half. Coach, you've been at Dickinson for quite some time now, a graduate of the college, and you know what this is all about. You know when your team can find that edge. You've been through the tournament and also tough Centennial Conference play, so tomorrow you take on an opponent in Lynchburg. You're in, you're out, one of the great teams of the ODAC. So what are you telling your guys after the game today and then prepping for tomorrow's game here in the Green Turtle Classic with Lynchburg? Well, I just told them in a the locker room that, that uh, no excuse for fatigue. Um, we're not going to go into this game thinking uh, we're in, in, from, a, from a perspective of any kind of limitation. We've got to recover real quickly. We've got to get excited to compete. We've got to learn to play a full game.
and this is a great opportunity tomorrow to do that against a, a, a tremendous opponent. Head coach Dave Webster for the Red Devils. Coach, best of luck tomorrow in the 2015 Green Turtle Classic and throughout the spring in the Centennial Conference. This was a great event. Happy to be part of it. Thanks, Green Turtle. Thanks, Stevenson. Great to be here. Thank you, Coach. For Dave Webster, I'm Christian Payne for SFMSports.net. Dickinson moving into a matchup tomorrow with Lynchburg. For head coach Dave Webster, I'm Christian Payne. Thanks for joining us here on SFMSports.net.